Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in First Kings chapter 11, verse 23, as well as Proverbs chapter 3, verse 22. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word, Lord. Help us to apply the wisdom that you share with us, Lord. Help us to walk it out, Lord God, and not just know it in our heads. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. First Kings chapter 11, verse 23. God also raised up an adversary to him, Rezan, son of Eliada, who had fled from his master, Hadad Ezer, king of Zobah. All right, those are some names. <laughs> so, um, this was um, speaking about Solomon having adversaries raised up against him. And we know that Solomon um, was disobedient in having so many wives and having them lead him astray with their gods. And so idolatry was an issue with Solomon. And so um, he got raised up an adversary to him, right? It says Rezin, son of El Elida. Elida, and so it says, who fled from his master. So not only is he raising up an enemy, this guy's on the run, and he's still an enemy. <laughs> it says he he who fled from his master, Hadadzer, king of Zoba. All right, and so this is completed today with Proverbs chapter three, verse twenty-two, and they will be life for your soul an adornment for your net. And what is that? It's wisdom. You know, um, most of Proverbs is attributed to Solomon. And so it's kind of surprising that the book that is attributed to him was not necessarily applied in his life um, very well as it related to the, the women and the foreign gods, right? He he did not let wisdom become life for his soul he did not adorn it around his neck or else he would not have gone to strange and foreign gods and built up all those altars to them right so it, it's the the thought that yes you might know the wisdom but you have to be able to apply it right it has to in order for it to make you free um, you need to be able to apply it in your daily life, walking it out, not just knowing it and, and seeming wise to everyone in the world, but having enough wisdom to be able to draw the line and say, this is where um, I know that God wants me to be, right? For God, I live and for God, I die. But instead he was drawn into his flesh, drawn into carnality, um, drawn into the left lust of foreign women and and idolatry and it became his downfall right because God raised up an adversary um against him because of that and it says and and the the wisdom scripture proverbs chapter 3 verse 22 and they will be life for your soul and adornment for your neck wisdom wisdom we need wisdom lord not only give us wisdom, but help us to learn practical ways to walk it out and actually do it, Lord God. Help us to live a life of wisdom and not just speak about wisdom, God. We love you and we praise you. We give you glory and honor. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.